Well, hey, everybody. I just couldn't leave y'all hanging, right? <laughs> so, there's so much going on, and hey, the fact that the battery didn't come in, all kinds of things have happened, and, you know, everything happens for a reason. I, I just got to deal with it. <laughs> this has not been easy. And then I took on the responsibility of taking care of those old pups that, um, wow, it a lot of work. This has been very stressful. So I pray that y'all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and whichever way that it went, all glory goes to God, all right? It was like, Lord, keep my mouth quiet and and help me be light. That was my my heart's desire. The fact that I got to cook the turkey and I'm vegan, don't forget. And don't forget I'm also hee hawing here to get through things, right? Okay. Um I got to cook the turkey, which is something I haven't done in a very long time. I was rather impressed that I still had it, like right down to the T, as far as even the amount of celery, onions, and seasoning went in there and stuffing. So the thing was so tender, it just like fell apart when we took it out of the pan. Amazing. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I think I had a bite and you know had to quality check it, <laughs> of course more so of the green beans and the mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, and all that other good stuff. Cranberries, oh, very good. I make great smoothies, too. So saying that, remember all the things that we've talked about, even in the lives, about all the different things? And I would mentioned that the fact that they were going back to pre, as far as travel and stuff that was going on for the holidays, and then seeing that Israel, all places, right, is totally retaliating. And Amir put out a video today that totally speaks of the fact that they are preparing for war 100%. Not only that, but they have announced um, that they have a new, you know what, for the a new, you know what, uh, called, and don't forget, we know who the Alpha and the Omega is, right? The beginning and the end. We talked about that too. And, and wars or something like this. Oh my goodness. I get so mind blown when the Lord speaks to me in any way, shape, or form. Um, and linking all these things together. So I'm going to put some links in, in the description box safely because I don't want to get taken down before I get my charger after all this time, right? It better come right. Um, anyways, so, yeah, apparently it started in Africa, of course, right? And where everything's been happening, there's been so much flooding. La Palma is, like, ready to blow with the rain, the mudslides. Their government's lying to them. The same with Kilauea is still going. He, you know, there's how many active volcanoes in the world right now? Um... There's like a shaking. I, I know that, oh my goodness, it's like, there's such a shaking in my body. And I can feel what's going on. And I know that you can sense it too. But also know who Alpha and the Omega is, the beginning and the end. Um, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, right? Because it is faith <laughs> that we receive Jesus in the first place. And it is by faith that we're still here and looking up and washing and waiting for Titus 2.13 to part those clouds and call us up hither. But in the meantime, listen, all the things that you're hearing that they are got planned <laughs> is probably true in some sort of way. But don't focus on that. Focus on Jesus because they're putting some pretty freaky stuff out there to the point where even... My knees start shaking sometimes just listening to this, and I'm a watchman going, oh, Lord Jesus, do I have to watch this or listen to this? And, yeah, they, they send lots of signals out. They don't hide them anymore. But yet, we as creators have to be very careful as what we say and how we say it, especially as to how we say it, um, in order to get some of these things through to get you the truth. That sets you free. When you're set free, you're free indeed. Okay, so that's another thing. Just, all right. Um, so most of the stuff 
that I want to share. I'll leave in the link. But Israel is also, like, they're going after Iran, right? Or they could be, which Russia will get involved. Everybody's going to get involved here at this point. Um, now, as we talked about, and talked about the fact that travel and how they were restricting it back to the old laws before, pre, and how I was concerned about the fact that something was going to come out of it, and it sure did, right? Okay, so Israel apparently had the first one that's going to be able to perform this, and there's another movie called End Games, and we talked about that. Oh my gosh, my head is blown. And that talks about how they're going to give all these things to the top officials. And this is what the article says, and I'm going to leave there. Okay, so they go first. All right, so don't forget also that um, us old folk, <laughs> let's just say, us awake ones, we're good. No, us all, all of us, us, period, who are awake are good. Okay, because if you're awake, you know, they're messing with the mind um, and in the water and the air and the food. We've already talked about this. My goodness gracious. I'm like blown away sometimes. And then to have it proven to me by them of all things and, and being confirmed. This is scriptural, y'all. Um, who says God isn't God? <laughs> Wait, who said he's not this big? Um, my goodness. So, um, Okay, um, I'm just going to leave a bunch of links because I want to be very careful with what I say. But I do want you to know that these different things can are coming out. All right, so I also wanted to share that don't worry about the kids, okay? The kids are covered as far as their immune system is concerned, even though if they did, okay, they can still fight it better than most elderly and stuff like that are going to have a difficult time. Anybody over 40 um, and up is going to be very bad shape. Okay, so what a couple is that bringing, right? I'm just trying to lay it all out without no fear because there's no fear in Jesus. Absolutely none. Um, did he promise to snatch us out of the way before these things, right, come to pass? Of course. He will keep his promise to his bride. What happened in the days of Noah? Right? Did he not, like, shut the door before the floodwaters came in? Or did he have to go through a bunch of paddling first? <laughs> Think about it, y'all. All right, I know it feels it, but it's for a short time compared to what he went through. Honest. Peace out. Look at the tent, by the way. 55 degrees. And yet, the other temp says 44. <laughs> this is so great. And I know they're located right around the same, that has to be the same place. Um, crazy. Just stuff that's happening. Press into Jesus. You notice how we're being, it's like being pushed in and pressed into him more and more. And the more we are, the more focused we are, then the better things go. Does that make sense? <laughs> I pray so. So, oh my goodness, yes, I took on too much, I did too much, but it was all for God and all for God's glory because it's his story and it was a blessing and I, no matter what's going on, whew, it's rough, pray for me and I'm going to make it. Why? Because I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And Sister Paula picked it up in my post, oh my goodness, I didn't even share what I've been going through. Um, wow. And thank you all for understanding. No charger. Oh, well. Hopefully we'll get this soon, right? Be praying. Peace out from Texas. Hey, this is Debbie. Let's keep looking up because our king surely is coming. <laughs>